So I put things under um, three main baskets. Prosperity, uh, working together on shared prosperity between Britain and Bahrain. Uh, security, shared security and um, looking after the interests of British nationals. And things are really are in a very positive space at the moment. We've had some very good uh, high-level visits recently. We enjoyed the visit of the Foreign Secretary for the Manama Dialogue, uh, where again he emphasised that your security is our security and your prosperity is our prosperity. This, this commonality of interest we have on working on so many different things. And I'm looking forward to some high-level visits in the next couple of months, including uh, His Majesty going to the coronation of His Majesty King Charles. So it, it's, it's four to five thousand. There are those who are here permanently. There are others who are here semi-permanently working across the eastern province. And of course, there are many um, British nationals who've become Bahraini over the years. But of those who are still modern nationals, I would say four to five thousand. In my time here, uh, trade has doubled, uh, so it's up to 2.6 uh, billion uh, pounds. Uh, Two-way trade, uh, that's goods and services in both directions, and it gives me real confidence for the future that it is balanced, that we're seeing uh, Bahraini firms or other firms based here exporting to the UK, whether it's goods or services, as well as British firms succeeding uh, into the market here um, and using Bahrain as a base from which to um, work elsewhere in the region. Most of the consortia um, for the big infrastructure projects that are due to happen soon, things like Bahrain Metro, things like the, um, the Future Causeway, so I'm confident that we'll have British interests in those as they open up. There's real, we're seeing real interest in education, in uh, expanding educational links, opening up new schools, opening up uh, more university links, Shifting that into areas which, uh, which are more technical, more engineering, more, more specialised than perhaps the sort of general degrees and, and general uh, education in the past. Uh, science and technology more generally is going to be a, uh, an area of growth. As Bahrain embraces um, its net zero goals and starts work on decarbonisation and changing the mix and the energy use in Bahrain over the coming decades, um, British firms' expertise in that kind of area uh, is going to come to the fore. So it's been a net benefit here in Bahrain. Uh, it's enabled us to uh, just push ahead with our bilateral collaboration. I think Bahrain had always regarded the UK as, as the UK and not part of uh, the European Union. And we are pressing ahead with uh, negotiations with a, for a free trade agreement. Uh, and so I'm confident that we'll uh, reach a a progressive deal which will open up even more avenues for trade and investment in both directions. We're open to um, further bilateral arrangements with Bahrain. We're discussing things in the field of investment. It's given us uh, the impetus to move ahead with this and identify things we should be doing, we should be doing more of or doing better. Bahrain is a very cultural place. It's somewhere that really appreciates and has a very rich culture and and embraces other people's cultures, so there's, uh, that is um, a strong part of the relationship and I think uh, that will continue to grow. So I'm really encouraged that there is a lot uh, in terms of cultural exchange, you know, I see British orchestras coming here and British theatre groups coming here, British jazz bands coming here, I uh, hear of um, cultural groups going the other way and, and looking at participation in festivals in the UK and I think the the social clubs that uh, look after different communities here, we have um, several in the British community, also play a really important role to sort of anchor people uh, into, into Bahrain. And um, I know people enjoy that, and it's part of what um, keeps them here decade after decade. It's uh, absolutely the heart of it. Uh, I'm very privileged to um, be part of some of the the exchanges between uh, the royal families and I know there is a real um, deep friendship and shared interests in so many different uh, fields. Whether that's uh, sporting or charitable work uh, or work on, on the environment and a variety of other areas, there's a lot of um, private discussion and collaboration which I think is very positive and very forward-looking. So it is, uh, it is interwoven with our um, 209 year relationship and it helps make it warmer and stronger. 
The symbolism around uh, a coronation is important in the life of any nation because it then enables uh, the monarch to show uh, the values and the causes that are important to them. Um, I would um, settle in over that weekend uh, and watch the different events, whether it's concerts and street parties and, uh, and other things that are going on. It's not just the, the formal pageantry of the, of the coronation service at Westminster Abbey. There will be other things around that weekend which everyone will find something for them uh, in, that, in that weekend. Both uh, my wife Yasmin and I, it's, uh, we've really enjoyed our time here. Um, we've never felt any, any barriers. We've always found um, ways through any, any questions we had. People have been very kind and, and helped us uh, through all of that. It's one of the, uh, one of the best jobs um, I can imagine, and I commend the lucky man who is going to take over from me because uh, I'm sure he will have uh, a lot of fun and contribute a lot um, uh, to this, this important role. Bahrain punches above its weight and the things that we do with Bahrain here in Bahrain and through Bahrain uh, I think are not um, uh, always appreciated unless you're sort of close to it and uh, I think that's, uh, that's one of the secrets of Bahrain.